Turn your radio up. Uh, Weekend work is now on. <laughs> this is how it should be done. On Shade 45. Shade procedure. It's so weekend work. Coach PR got a special guest. You know, it's Coach PR, so I got to keep a little sports, but then it's not sports, but then it is sports. Mm-hmm. So I got my guy up here, and I'm, I'm going to, can I say the first, the, the name Go first? Ahead, and then, Jay Ajayi, mm-hmm. formerly known as Jay Ajayi. Formerly known. But he's now Finesse. Yeah, real finesse, man. Real finesse. Finesse in the building. What's going What's on? What's up, Finesse? I'm here, man. We no more, no, no, no more pigskins, no more running on the field, no more I'm done. gaming. I'm That's done with I'm done with the games. I'm done with all the games. Done with man. all the games. I'm done with all the games. <laughs> so what's, what's what's tell me what's good with you, bro? Because this seems like <clears throat> like I know you did gaming right after that. Yeah. Right? And you did and you you did your you did yeah, your that was for the Super chicken. Bowl. That was Super for the Bowl chicken. ring. You got Super Bowl, right? I got the ring. You got you know, the I'm ring. A champ till I die. Put you the stamp on me. They can't take that away from Put you. Put the stamp on me. Right? And then you went into the gaming. Yeah, that was the that was for the chicken. That you was know, for I, the chicken. I, I needed some, you know, for the play. That was good, you know, right. playing the games and all that. But um, yeah, I just always been someone that on my brand. I just always try to do stuff outside of the the football field. Right, back right. when I was playing, so um, even just being a creative, that's always been me from the jump. You know, always right. around entertainment, creating stuff. So now I'm just going full circle with it. Back to my music. I was doing it when I was young, so it's just like full circle moment. You know, I'm done with the the sports and, I, and I'm doing what I love to do. Right, and you from you from UK, right? Yeah, I was born I in London. It, born yeah. London. I can still hear it a little. I, got, sun, I right? got a little bit every time I go back. You know, I try to right. make it. You know, come back a little stronger. You know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hear you, buff. Come on. Yeah. Where's, <laughs> come where's, on buff. The, where's the food? Where's the, where's the food? There's no man. food here, buff. Where's the food, fam? <laughs> you know, top boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's my shit Real too. When boys. they coming back with that, it's bro? Coming, the final season. The final season, yeah, right? Man. I got to see that shit. You, you wait, wait. Who are you? You team Sully or you team Duchesne? Okay, you got to remi- remind me of the guy. The, who's the dark Sully, skin with the... Sully, Sully, that's, the Sully's Kano, the light skin. The one. one they just shot in the last one. They came so back... So that's to, Jamie's the one that got killed. Jamie, yeah. Jamie yeah. got killed. Is he really dead? I don't dead? know if I'm doing spoilers right now. I'm no, because I didn't see after he got killed. Like, right, that was... Nah, so the, the, it ends, you know, Jamie got you know, killed. gets done by Sully, you know You know what, what happened? What after you that, you how you saw it? That's the finale of the, the last... The, the, the last season? Yeah, it's the So finale. there's one more season, right? That's the last season coming up. That's That's what's coming. Oh, so there's more to it. It's right? more. It's you gotta tell f- me off air, bro. Yeah, so, we, we like, can talk about it. That's my yeah. shit, boy. But but it's I love that show. You know, it's, yeah. they really give you a good insight of you know London and all that. Yeah, yeah. You ever think about acting now since you? Yeah, know you? I mean, I'm big in that. You know, I love uh, film, movies, TV. I watch it all. Like I said, I'm a creative, so right. I'm always locked in on on all the entertainment stuff, the movies. That's definitely something I'm excited about. Funny enough, my pops, he's actually a a producer, you know, he's he's right. made a movie in Nigeria that, that ended up on like Netflix and, oh, dope. Okay. and stuff like that. So yeah, we just I'm on it, you know what I mean? Okay, it just Dempsey, yeah, he's, come coming. Look, he's coming. He's coming for you, Dempsey. I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> we in the mix, man. All, yeah, because y'all are taking yeah, over that shit the, right now. The mix. Damn, you I got... just had a conversation with um with Amari Hardwick, and okay. we talking about you know the actors from UK coming heavy, you know, in the acting over here in the states. And he's like, yo, if they dope, let them respect act. It. You gotta respect it. Let them act, right? Gotta respect it, and and they killing it. And you know what I mean? The, the show Snowfall, I mean, it had everybody on, Fire. on it. So I mean, Fire. what can you say, bro? That man put in that work. You know what I'm saying? That show was. Ugh. Fire. Ugh. Yes. That, the last two episodes, it's everyone. Crazy. That last one? Like, yo, crazy. Come on, bro. This is what we're gonna do. Let's play some music. Let's do it. Let's get the people familiar. With finesse, how about that, right? Yeah, man, play that Serena, man. Serena, yeah. All right, let's go. Produced by, produced by Ray Ali, man. He in the building right now too, man. Shout out my boy. Oh, that's him over there. Yeah, okay. man. Shout let's out go. Ray Ali. Let's go, baby. We it's can finesse. Work. Yeah. Finesse, he's here. Yeah. Coach PR, I'm here, and he doesn't want to play football anymore, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to try to talk him into something else. <laughs> Nah, he's set with music. Let's go, nah, man. Let's we go. Can Come on, play that. Turn your radio up. Uh, 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 weekend work is now on. <laughs> this is how it should be done. On Shade 45. Shade Procedure. Boom. Weekend work, Coach PR, Finesse. Now, I have to ask you, right? Because I was going to, um, I had this conversation too the other day also. You know, you have um, athletes rapping, doing music. Um, to you, who was the, your, the athlete that, did any athlete have you, you know? No. no, Nobody? No. You didn't see any athlete that, no. you know? Because everybody can't rap and they tried. Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. No disrespect, but shit. That shit was trash at no, the end of the day, right? Right, so. It was never about me seeing another athlete and being like, ooh, I think I can do it too. 
Right. That's not what it is for me. You know what I'm saying? Music's been with me from when I was a kid. So it was just when I came to America, sports was my avenue to make it. But mm. I've been versatile in many things. I can do a lot of things. So the music is now just in my other way of my expressing myself, allowing me to connect with the people. You know, when you right. play behind the NFL and you you on a team, you know, people love you for sometimes just that team. People might not really love you for who you really are. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I enjoy this music because it's like if you mess with me, you mess with me. You know what I'm saying? If you like my music, it's going to connect with you and it's a real thing. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, it's not... Right. It's not a gimmick, and I'm not in it for the gimmicks either. So right, right. I think when you hear my stuff, you'll you'll know it's a difference. Right, and and that's that's what I'm trying to. So be, who be on. who did you listen to? Who influenced you with music? It had to be some type of a rapper. When I was artist. young, oh yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. I mean, growing up, I, I grew up with my cousins in Maryland. That was like my first taste of American music. I remember listening to like Kanye West, Fifty Cent. That was like back with like many men and like Nelly, like Underlay, mm -hmm. Underlay, Mama E. I like so yeah. it was around that time, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. It's like good like the hip hop, Acon, Soul Survivor, like B T one oh six and Park. I was getting a lot of hip hop, MySpace music, a lot of hip hop. So it was just like flooding me, you know, coming from London to the States, getting all that. Then like people like Lauren Hill, you know, on the other side yep. of things, the artistry. Legend. You get that. And then my mom, she was in choir all the time, so I get the gospel side of things too from like the Fred Hammonds and stuff like that. Mm. So it was like, I always got the music, you know, music always been around. So it's just like now again, I'm just like all in it, you know, putting my foot down and like stepping Into on it, the ready gas. To go. Yeah, really. Okay, so you know, I'm from the old school and you raised your hand and everything. I see this is like very familiar with the new artists having their fingernails polished. Ah, uh, yeah, And yeah, I yeah. know that everybody, you see this online every time. What is it with the artists with their nails polished? I'm just a rock star. That's that's why I yeah, did it yeah. to keep it a G. I'm a I'm a star. I'm a rock star. Like I keep it a G. I like Ozzy Osbourne. That's that, hey, that's why hey, I, got, that's I, where I ain't gonna cap to you. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's just why don't I, snip yeah. ants. Nah, I mean I'm not with, I'm not with the antics. You know, I'm, not with all the, I'm not with all the antics. But yeah, I, I'll just I see myself as a rock star. So yeah, I mean. So you yeah. don't see it like I'm just a rapper. I'm no, I'm a, I'm a rock star. I'm an artist. I'm not. I'm just me. You know what right. I mean. I, I I don't think I fit in any box because I'm just. I done did a lot of my. I don't know. My path is different. I'm 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 an individual that's not trying to do the same thing. I think like too like Super Bowl champ coming to this thing. I'm just trying to showcase my whole story. You know. I'm like bring people to where I'm on. You know what I mean. To your world. Into yeah. my world. MBF world. Yeah. Because people ask like, yo, you won a Super Bowl ring, champ. He's a Super Bowl champion. And then you went to gaming. Yeah, you went there for the bread, but why not continue playing football? Uh, for me personally, um, I was in it, but I was injured. To be fair, like I was, I was going through it with my knees. I think it's been de detailed pretty, you know, publicly. But I had like injuries, and so mm. um, the sports. It was just, it was hard. I mean, I was a, a top running back. The the position you play, like you need your knees. You know what I mean to run. So yeah, like yeah. I was in pain, and you know. It was it was time like I, at that at the end of the day I did my chapter in, in that in that world you know I I conquered what I needed to do you know I ended up a champ you know I made my name I wasn't no scrub you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so it is what it is and I left on I can say I left on a high note on my own terms you know some right, people right. don't get to leave on their own terms and you know no, that's it, it, it gets real interesting for yeah. them you so for me I'm like in the perfect space where I can still continually pursue whatever the hell I want to do, you know what I mean? And right now I'm on my music. So did you go through, uh, was it the gaming that actually was like the, the funnel to go to the music? Or that was, <laughs> like, I know you said it was for the bread, <laughs> no, but no, no, did it's you? Funny. Nah, it's funny because again, like, I, I, I love FIFA. Like, I, I was born in London. Uh, I know people grew up playing Madden, Madden over here. Yeah, yeah. FIFA was my game, so like, uh, I always It makes sense, yeah, right? You from UK? Yeah, you so I always play FIFA, play FIFA at home. Shout out to my marketing uh, guy, uh, Teo, on the football side. He had brought the deal to me to do the um, the e game, and I was like, "Shoot, I play at home for free, uh, you know, cooling on the couch, smoking, or play uh, and get bands for it." You right, know what right, I mean? right, so, right. So I was like, "Hey, let, let's run it up." Now I will say this though, in respect to the e gaming world, it's it's different. It's levels to this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Excuse, I mean it's levels to it. You no, know you can mean? curse. Yeah, it's levels to Not this shit. Not too fucking much about yeah. curse now. It's <laughs> levels to this shit, man. Cause I looked at it like this would have been the equivalent of one of them coming on the football field and being like, "Yeah, I can tackle you today." You know what I mean? Like, mm. like let's yeah, go. Right. You, you suit up, and I look at that motherfucker like, 
man, watch out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was similar to that. Like, yeah, yeah. I entered that world and I came in like tripping high. Like, I'm just going to play the game today. And got your ass waxed. What? <laughs> Look, but I got that cash though. You got the cash, right? So it was good. No, yeah. it was a good experience. I learned a lot. Shout out, uh, met a lot of dope e gamers. Shout out to them. It, it was um, it was a vibe. I saw um, I watched Ballers. You know Ballers, the show Ballers. Yeah. And they had an episode where one of the um, I think it was an offensive lineman that he went to gaming. He okay. wanted to quit football, and his people around him was like, "What the fuck are you talking about? Like, nah." Now to hear that now, I was like, "Oh shit, this shit really happened." Like, you know when I see your story like you're like oh, no shit. real sh real shit um i never would have thought i would be in a world where like you see video gamers on magazine covers and like it's it's the real deal like all them times you know they was like don't play them games and my mom put my game console in the closet trying to hide that shit from me mm -hmm. back when i was coming home like you can make that paper so you better leave that Xbox out in the living room next time. Like, right, right, right. I don't know about them homework. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah. I still do Please the homework. Please don't let my son nah, hear I that. Now I'm just joking. Do your, do your homework, kids. Do your homework, do your Dylan. Times, you heard that, Dylan. Do your homework. Do your times table, Dylan. Don't play it. <laughs> so let's get into some more music. What you want to get into, bro? You got something else for me? Uh, Yeah, man. We got Whole Nother Level, man. Play that one. The first, we, we dropped that earlier this year. Whole Nother Level. Whole Nother Level, Yeah, man. we That's, Finesse. Had to set the tone. You know what I mean? Who you want to work with, man? Before I let, you know, we play this. Anybody else you want to work with? Like... I mean, I would love to work with uh, some big names like Skepta, uh, ASAP Rocky, Future. No gigs? Oh, gigs for sure. For sure I mean, right? yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a stamp for the court. Yeah. yeah, but Ooh. yeah, that would be dope. Um, yeah, man, just just create the vibes, man. I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get into that. Say it again. Which one? What is it? We got whole nother level. Whole nother level. Yeah. Let's get into it, man. Finesse, Coach Pure, we can work. Let's go. Turn your radio up. <laughs> Uh, weekend work is now on. <laughs> this is how it should be done. On Shade 45. Shade procedure. It's the weekend work, Coach PR, Finesse. Yeah, man, what's going He's gonna on? I'm trying to see how if I could get some chicken playing Madden or something, man. <laughs> hey, look, it's a lot of chicken to be made out here. Am I? Yo, as the older I got, my, my fingers got slower. I, I how can you get like so, slower and with the controller? Like that shit is. I don't know, man. It's, it's I was tough. on the disabled list for a long time. Injury reserve for you know playing Madden, bro. <laughs> they put you. Almost fucked up. They had yeah. you on the injury report. Yeah, bro. Like, Thumb, come on, out man. of here. Out of here, man. So what's the plan right now, bro? Yeah, man. We bro. just in mo in, we in motion, man. Like I said, we out here in New York. Um, ain't been back here in a minute, so it's been good. Feeling the energy out. Touched a few places, man. We went outside playing a record. So we just trying to touch touch people, you know what I'm saying? Connect with people. We rolling around the country, moving around. We got um, the video coming out for Serena, like, in, in a couple of weeks. Hopefully by the end of June we should have something for you. Have an EP in the works that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's on deck, you know, another single in the works. So, yeah, man, I'm just trying to put my foot on the gas. You know, my whole thing this year is we here now. I'm just trying to bring everyone right to where I'm at, you know, we all in this one spot, like, come, come, connect with me, come listen to these vibes, let's go, let's go on this journey, you know what I mean? Right, right, and then you sit down and think about the journey, when, was it like, all right, was it planned out? I don't or think anything's ever planned like, for me. It just I, happened, I, it didn't I, happen, I don't, I'm sitting playing game, and no, next thing you know, I'm gonna do music this day, next year. Or, I tell you like, what, though, I don't think I've planned anything in my life, but I do know, like, whenever I put my mind to something that my mind says, like, okay, I want to do this, like, I go 110%. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, my thing, my thing that's helped me get to where I'm at, like, my whole life is just, like, if I know I want to do something and I, I know I can do it, I don't fucking stop. Like, I'm just all in and, like, my work ethic just takes over and, yeah, I just go. So it's, like, anything that I've... Anything that I feel like I want to do, I feel like I, I'm going to do it. And that's, that's just right. how I move, right. you know. I don't know. It's yeah. just I, I go ahead on that. And yeah. I was like that when I was young. Like, I always felt like I was going to be. I know people say that all the time, but I just, I knew you I was You knew gonna, it, right? You I fun. swear, bro. Yeah. Like, I just knew I was going to do something. And, I mean, to come from London to the States, mm -hmm. I didn't know it was going to be NFL, you know what I mean? But, shit, that's what it was. That, which was a great which start. Which is a right? great That's fucking crazy. start to the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, now bro. we on chapter two. Or right. whatever cha you chapter know what three. I mean? Chapter three. Was a game in Cotton for a chapter? I, I call that. Mm, a bit of, yeah. Like intro. I, I guess that's like a little, uh, what oh, they call it, a little break. Intermission. intermission. I like that. There you go. Thank you, love. That's right? the intermission. intermission. That was the intermission. Now we here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now we really in the thicker shit. You know what I'm saying? We in the thicker things. And 
I think this is where it's gonna really get interesting. You know what I mean? That's what's up, man. Stay, stay focused, man. Before I let That's you go, that's my age. Focus I've been up. stay focused. And you know, I'm going to ask you something saying, about staying focused. About I got to ask you this: being an athlete, and you see John Morant, what he's going through. It seems like you got a good team around you. Yeah. You know what I mean? See good people around you. What do you have to say, like to other, you know, young players? Like, yeah, like I mean, I, I I don't have conversations about this. I think it just comes down to again, like. You got to realize the NFL and the NBA, those is private companies. You know what I'm saying? Like, they have their own set of rules that go outside of everything else. When you learn, like, when you're in the NFL and NBA, you're in a bubble. And, like, you're literally in, like, la-la land. Like, it's not the same as everything else in the world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You are in this bubble. You're protected by the NFL and NBA at some level. So they get to call the shots. You are, you know, you are an employee of that business. So if they let you know, like, this is, this ain't what we on, you know what I'm saying? You can't be doing that. Even if it's legal, you know what I'm saying? And they the employer, what can you do? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Their rules, right? It's their rules. Yeah. Now, if you're not in the NFL, in the NBA, then it's no issue. I mean, right. it's just, it's that simple. But if you want to be an NBA player, you want to be a, the guy that's making all the bag, you know what I'm saying? And... Uh, you are that guy, then it comes with a different level of, you know, scrutiny and things you go watch out for. And I learned some of those things as well, but, you know, it's just, it is a learning experience. It's unfortunate, but, again, you just hope, you know, he's young, so. Yeah, he, 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 that's what I say, he's young. He's young, bro, get, and he's it got right. too much talent. Like, at the end of the day, he's not a scrub, so it's right, like, right. they're going to find a way. They're right. going to find a way to make it work, and, you know, I'm rooting for him at the end of the day, too, so. That's what's up, man. Appreciate you, man. Finesse, man. Love, Thank love. you, man. Appreciate, yeah, appreciate you, man. Appreciate this as a movie. Anytime you want to come back come up on. here, weekend work, fuck with Coach PR. I'm here. We're here, man. We're here right? now. Let's yeah. go, bro. Let's, get it, bro. Let's do it. <laughs>